Many small towns in America depend on the trucking industry. From diners and motels to repair shops and gas stations, their economies rely on the steady rhythm of long-haul freight. But that economy is built on diesel. And when trucking goes electric, everything about where drivers stop and where they spend money could change. Battery electric rigs like the Tesla Semi and the Volvo VNR Electric need megawatt-class chargers that draw loads rivaling those of a small town substation. You can't just build a truck stop by installing chargers, because the local grid has to be able to feed them. That means new substations, upgraded transformers, and stronger transmission lines. This kind of infrastructure can cost millions of dollars, and in many cases, take years to permit and install. Rural electric cooperatives maintain about 42% of America's distribution lines, yet serve only around 13% of customers. They operate on thin margins and cover long distances, which makes every upgrade expensive. Across the country, utilities are preparing for major upgrades. Many are planning multi-million dollar substation projects, along with grid investments that reach into the billions. One example is a two and a half billion dollar program from the US Department of Agriculture, created to help Western co-ops modernize their systems. In Minnesota, mobile substation projects are being added to keep rural power reliable during upgrades. The first high-capacity charging hubs are appearing along major interstates and freight corridors, while far fewer have been built in smaller highway towns so far. If those chargers bypass rural exits, trucks will stop somewhere else. That shift means fewer customers pulling in, fewer meals served, fewer beds booked, and less local tax revenue. It is the same hollowing out that happened when the interstates skipped old downtowns. Some towns could get ahead by working early with their utilities or co-ops to expand grid capacity. Others may simply watch the traffic and the money roll past. The road to electrification will bring cleaner freight, but it might also redraw America's economic map. If the trucks pass them by, the small towns they once fueled may fade with them. If stories like this matter to you, subscribe for more insights on how money shapes everyday life.